Hey, Ronnie here. I just wanted to answer your question, Wendy. Um, you mentioned having some trouble editing the pages file, and so I just wanted to show you how we go about doing this. Now, I'm, um, I'm obviously this is on a Mac, so I just want to um, uh, do the demo for you. I'm on a, uh, a MacBook Pro. Um, however, there are two different versions of Apple Pages. There is the um, uh, the old version and the new version. So let me flip over here. On the left, you'll see is the old version. That's um, what our design team was using to design the files and on the right is the new version okay so you can see there's slight differences in, in formatting you'll see that mindset is kind of not showing here and you'll see that these boxes are not linked properly as you mentioned you kind of go from nine and back to one to, to one um, it's just sort of a discrepancy with how the new version versus the old version um, is okay so first of all to fix the mindset thing um, normally whenever you see text in pages that it disappears it's because of some sort of placement of text okay so if I were to move this away you'll see it all of a sudden appears and I, I don't know why but it's something to do with the text wrap um, so you know you can kind of just click on some of the boxes you see text wrap none text wrap around okay that's fine text wrap none text wrap around if I just change this to none all of a sudden you'll see that appear so you'll see um, you just kind of have to play with it so you you choose arrange in the sidebar here and then object stay on page text wrap none okay so that's just uh, one tip um, in terms of the text box if you were to increase the font size here as you can see you'll start to see that the, the text disappears and that's because these text boxes for whatever reason in the new version do, do not link uh, I don't know why they decided to do that but that's what they've done um, so um, there's a couple things that you can do I'm just looking here real quick um, the the first thing is you know just we don't allow for text the, the, the text to to wrap so it has to go on to a separate um, you know a separate box okay so you can see if I go to um, let me just look for it here yeah I don't think that they allow for they, they just kind of remove that feature unfortunately that's why we use the old version to design because it, it does tend to be a lot better um, with how things how things go like let me just show you if I were to add a new text area you know there's no way to there's no way to link it it's just for whatever reason that's just kind of how they designed it so what I would recommend is you can increase the font size and then let's just say you want to increase it to that you just put your cursor at the end and then you just select all the way um, I do it as I hold down shift command in the down arrow and it selects everything below I cut it and then you kind of just need to do the same thing here and paste it in uh, we're gonna have to make some changes you'll see it goes from five to one so we have to go and change that so what we're gonna do is uh, under probably under style and we change it from so it's it, it doesn't know that it's starting from previous so we're gonna start it in this case from number six press enter so we see that there and you'll see we're gonna increase the font size from so this we want everything to be 16 so I'm gonna just go shift command down arrow to select everything below and make it uh, size 16 and we're gonna have to create a new page so what we'll do is um, let me see here need to create a new page I'm not used to not having the thumbnail so here we go um, if we we can usually duplicate uh, that's kind of funny see I, that's this is exactly why we use the old version because you see how it kind of adds strange things um, you know adding extra pages by duplicating a page it's just kind of bizarre um, I don't know why it does that it's kind of the, the issue is uh, on Apple's side they're kind of just the new versions tend to be buggy for whatever reason um, okay so let's try to do it from here see it's all grayed out just trying to create a new oops create a new page um, all right so went to the just to show you how I did that I went clicked right beside the box right here and pressed enter and there's our new page just gonna copy this duplicate it and um, okay now I'm going to erase this box because we don't want the text that's in there but we want to copy the rest of the text in here so I'm going to go from this point shift command down arrow select everything command X to cut it 
paste and now we're going to set the numbers from down here to be number 17 um, and you can see the numbers are a little bit close here the 10 11 12 and so on so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to increase the indent for the text let's say to maybe that's too big 0.4 and I'll do the same thing here okay so um, that's it that's how I made those changes I increased the font size and you want to make any you know add any branding or, or you can do that in the PDF render that's included in the numbers area or you can add it in the pages file um, so um, that's how we do it in the new version of pages if you're using the old version obviously it, it's kind of set and it's pretty straightforward we can just select all increase the font size and then you, you'll see this um, little arrow here that tells you you can actually create a new text box but for whatever reason the new version removed that feature um, unfortunately so if, uh, if you're using the new version which I suspect that you are that's how you fix it take care